So you suffer for maybe 8 to 12 weeks just to get in shape, whatever you need to. But after that you just disgust it. You disgust it. You don't want to even see fish, chicken or anything. So what happens is that you gain weight again. Because now you just want to indulge in everything out there. The McDonald's, the Burger Kings, whatever. I don't want to see diet food. But that's what I, because I had to diet so much for my shows, because I competed nearly year round, I couldn't afford to go off my diet because I would go up on stage and looking crap. And they would look at me and say, she hasn't done her job. And I hate that. I do everything 100%. If I'm going up on so stage... What do you do? What do you do about it? <laughs> Fight. Dig my head down. <laughs> Can you experiment on yourself first, like... Yeah, so what, what I did then was to make my own food tastier because even I was like, I feel up, I'm going to have a pizza tonight, I can't have this anymore. But it I, doesn't work because then I knew that I had to go out and walk two hours in the woods or something to burn that off because I have a show coming up in two weeks. So for me it was to make something similar taste so I could continue to do my diet and also stop my cravings. So I started doing my healthy muffins, only of protein and carbohydrates in a healthy way. I did my healthy pizza, I did uh, meatballs, and it was only exactly the same. So you're saying there is a way of eating pizza and burgers and being healthy? Yeah. Okay, so that's what you after reading the book. That's the book, actually, yeah. yeah I, if anybody who's been in fitness, anybody who's tried to gain weight or lose weight, uh, realizes